Hey guys and gals, uh, family and friends. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to right now about interracial dating in America in 2012. Um, a lot of my friends have who, who want to be in relationships. Let's just face it. In the black gay community, relationships are very difficult. They're not easy. When you have two black guys, the families, the friends, the church, the community, it's a, it, they can be, it can be a nightmare to be in a relationship with someone else, African American, if you don't have two strong individuals who know how to navigate through the issues that are presented daily in our lives. So a lot of my friends um, are now considering dating outside of their race. If they're looking at different guys, white guys, Chinese guys, Asians, Mexicans, Hispanics. Um, people want love. And I don't think skin color should matter about who you want to love if you're attracted to that person. There's, I don't see anything wrong with dating outside of your race. Now, I do know I have met certain people within the black community who said they would never date another black man that they would only date outside of their community. And I respect that also. It does kind of disturb me a little bit that you would not even consider dating another black man and you would only date white guys. But that's if that's what you like, I'm happy for you. I have a question, though. I just wonder, are relationships better when you date outside of our community? When you date other races, how, how is the quality of the relationship? I'll be very honest with you. The community in which we live, there are maybe 10 interracial couples, 10, maybe more. Black guys and white guys. Um, but I found something very interesting about their relationships. The white guys get up and go to work every day, student tie running out the, down the street, getting in their cars, driving off, getting on the bus, going to work, getting whatever. The black guys are homemakers. Sitting at home, going to the gym, not working a job anywhere. And I, 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 I'm, I'm a kind of a nosy neighbor, so I kind of watch my surroundings just to see. I'm just curious about people. And I've noticed these black guys don't work nowhere. They're in the gym all day, enjoying life while their white partners at work making the money. And I don't have hey, if that's how they enjoy their relationship, I don't have I don't have a problem with that. Hell, if I can afford to take care of my partner, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But I one thing, one of the neighbors though, he he just brought his a partner, a brand new BMW. Um, got him work nowhere, and and his partner brought him a brand new BMW. Was uh, and gave it to him so he can have a car. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I come home in my little Nissan parking thing. I got me a new Nissan. It's so nice. I'm paying for it. I look over there and see his new BMW that his white lover is paying for, and I was like, hmm, what the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> However, I totally respect that. I, I really do. They seem very happy. That couple, I, I, they're always together. They're always around each other, sitting on their porch, talking, laughing, walking around the track. They spend a lot of quality time together. I can honestly say there's a lot of love in that relationship because I, I, I noticed they're, they're always together, always practically holding hands, walking down the sidewalk. You ain't going to get that with too many black guys. I was with my partner for 17 years, and I can guarantee you, we never held hands walking down, walking nowhere. We didn't even hold hands in our own damn house. <laughs> not, and it could have been more me because I'm not really a touchy feely type person. I think he was more he wanted to do those types of things, and, and I totally screwed that end of my relationship up because I've, I'm, I'm, I'm warming up to. Allowing people to hug, touch me. I've never really been that type of person. I'm not a hugger. I hate for people really touch me, you know, unless we having sex or something. 
So I kind of screwed that part up in my relationship. I'm not a touchy-feely person. It took me years before I even allowed my mother to, to hug me. And every time she wanted to leave, she wanted to get a hug. I'm like, Mom, what's up with all this hugging and kissing? I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. But now I realize you better hug your mama now because you may not be able to hug later. So I'm warming up to allowing people to touch me. But back to the subject, interracial dating in the black gay community. Is it the answer to your loneliness? Is a white guy what you need in your life to bring you happiness right now if you cannot get it from someone African-American? Do you think that you can have a decent quality relationship with a white guy? I'll be honest with you, I have nothing against white guys. I'm not really attracted to white guys or, or guys outside of African-Americans. I see attractive white guys. I've never dated a white guy in my entire life. Um, would I date one? I, I don't want to rule it out at this point, but I'm just not really, hmm. I haven't really met one that I was attracted to. I'd say, well, I could, you know, get with him, you know. I Personally, for me, I prefer, I'm just attracted to black guys, you know. It's just my thing. But I have nothing against anyone in any relationship. Um, if you want to date a white guy, fine. I don't have a problem with that. If you don't, if you're a black guy, you have no interest in dating black guys, you only want to date white guys, hey, I'm happy for you if that's what you want. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm all for interracial dating. It's not a problem in my book. And it might be the answer for a lot of guys who are interested in, in finally achieving love. Because if you keep waiting around for a black guy, you might not ever end up in a relationship. These guys, black men can be complicated. A lot of issues in the black gay community that you might not be able to resolve in your lifetime. They're picky, they're finicky. Um, they have so many, there's, there's a ton of issues in the black gay community. That's a whole nother blog. We'll be on that one all day. But if you're looking for love, do you wait around forever for a black guy to come along? Or do you just jump ship and begin dating other races? Um, and how is it dating a white guy? How do you handle the race, racial tones inside of a relationship like that? I mean, because I always wonder, you know, we still, it's, it's America, we, it's 2012, but we still have some racism problems in our country. Let's just admit it. It's still existing. Um, and I just wonder, can you date a white guy and really have harmony in that relationship? I, I can imagine you probably could if both partners are on the same mental state of mind and can look past the color of your skin, because basically that's all. Race is the color of your damn skin. So if you can get past that type of stuff, um, would it make you better um, to not have to deal with certain racial implications? If you can get past dating a white guy, and he can get past dating um, the issues that come with dating a black guy, will it make you happier? Um, I just have to wonder. I would love to hear comments from people. Have you ever dated a white guy? How was it? If you're white, have you ever dated a black guy? How was it? I'm very curious if you were a black man and you dated black guys and then you dated a white guy, was the relationship better? Is white right? Did you have a better relationship dating a white guy without the issues and the problems that come with dating someone African-American? I, I really, I'm very curious to know. I've always... Like I said, I watch people, and I think white, I hate to say this, but this is just my opinion. I think white, whites have a better understanding of loving one another. Or other races have a better understanding of loving each other. I think we as black folks, have, we haven't quite figured how to love each other out yet. We're still dealing with issues that come with that. That's what makes African-American gay relationships so difficult. You understand what I'm saying? There's some, there's some tension there between black guys. It all boils down to love and respect. I mean, it all boils down to love and respect for one another. So let me know what you guys think. Would you date outside your race? If you, if you have dated outside your race, what was it like? What were the issues and problems? Was it a better relationship? Are you thinking about dating outside of your race? And um, give me some feedback. 
Thanks, guys. Enjoy your day. Looking forward to reading your comments. And thank you for all the love you guys are showing, showing me. It's really great. Um, but I'm, don't forget to hit the like button. If you like my videos, click like. If you don't like my videos, still click like. Anyway, you guys, have a great day. Bye-bye.